Hi, Andy Hoy here from Cisco WebEx Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy the WebEx Scheduler add-in via the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. First, we will log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and logging in with your credentials. Once logged in, you should see the following screen. From here, navigate to Settings, then Integrated Apps. Once in the Integrated Apps section, click on Add-ins near the top next to Advanced Management. On the Add-in screen, click on Deploy Add-in. In the pop-up, click Next. Click on Choose from the Store. In the search box, search for WebEx. Look for the Cisco WebEx Scheduler, then click Add. In the following screen, click Continue to agree to the license terms and privacy policy, or click on those links to review, then click Continue when finished. On the next screen, you have the following options to deploy to all users in your org, or only a specific set of users or groups if you'd like to test out the scheduler add-in before fully deploying to your org. You can also choose the deployment method, including fixed, available, and optional. Choose the options best fit for your use case, then click on Next. The next screen shows permissions and what data WebEx accesses. Click Save. Now, you'll be notified whether the deployment has been successful, and if so, it could take up to 12 hours for the added to be deployed to users' ribbons. To verify that deployment is complete, go to Outlook and create a new appointment or meeting. In this case, I'm using Outlook Web App to verify that the deployment was successful. In Calendar, click on New Event. When the pop-up loads, verify in the ribbon that Cisco WebEx Scheduler shows up. For additional configurations and how to link your WebEx meeting site with your Microsoft tenant, please reference the article in the description of the video for commercial orgs and FedRAMP orgs. You have now deployed the Cisco WebEx Scheduler add-in for Outlook. Thanks for watching.